Chapter 37 Nephi and Lehi in Prison Nephi and Lehi were Helaman's sons. Helaman wanted them to be righteous, like the Lehi and Nephi who left Jerusalem. Helaman taught his sons to believe in Jesus Christ. They learned that forgiveness comes through faith and repentance. Nephi and Lehi went to teach the word of God to the Nephites and Lamanites. Thousands of people were baptized. When Nephi and Lehi went to the land of Nephi, a Lamanite army threw them into prison and did not give them food for many days. The Lamanites went to the prison to kill Nephi and Lehi, but could not because they were protected by a ring of fire that would have burned anyone who tried to touch them. Nephi and Lehi were not burned by the fire. They told the Lamanites that God's power was protecting them. The ground and the prison walls began to shake. A dark cloud surrounded the people in the prison, and they were afraid. A voice from above the darkness spoke. It was quiet, like a whisper, but everyone could hear it. The voice told the people to repent and stop trying to kill Nephi and Lehi. The voice spoke three times, and the ground and prison walls continued to shake. The Lamanites could not run away because it was too dark and they were too scared. A Nephite who had been a church member saw that Nephi's and Lehi's faces were shining through the darkness. Nephi and Lehi were looking toward heaven and talking. The man told the Lamanites to look. They wondered whom Nephi and Lehi were talking to. The man who was named Aminadab told the Lamanites that Nephi and Lehi were talking to angels. The Lamanites asked Aminadab how to get rid of the dark cloud. He told them to repent and pray until they had faith in Jesus Christ. The Lamanites prayed until the dark cloud was gone. When the darkness left, the people saw a pillar of fire all around them. The fire did not burn them or the prison walls. The Lamanites felt great joy, and the Spirit of God filled their hearts. A voice whispered, saying they would be comforted because of their faith in Jesus Christ. The Lamanites looked up to see where the voice had come from. They saw angels coming down from heaven. About 300 people saw and heard what happened in the prison. They went and told others. Most of the Lamanites believed them and put away their weapons. The Lamanites stopped hating the Nephites and gave back the land they had taken. The Lamanites became more righteous than the Nephites. Many Lamanites went with Nephi and Lehi and taught both Nephites and Lamanites.